smoke them too. Monday night. Nitro. I'm a snowman. And uh, as your boy Snow, if you didn't already know, welcome to Nitro. We got some Bash at the Beach qualifying to kick things off here tonight. And that will be the story of tonight. We got the WCW Intercontinental title on the line. The United States title. A rematch. And a number one contender match for the WCW World Heavyweight Championship set to be defended the week I said two weeks before Bash the Beach the winner of this first match will go on to face none other than Baron Corbin of ECW who already qualified over on ECW this past Tuesday. And, uh, yeah, let's get this show going. J. Chris Jericho set to go one Han Juan with Grand Metalik. The master of the ropes. The rope wizard. Jericho fell short against Goldberg. We haven't seen uh since being Jericho. Chris Jericho kicking things off for WCW Nitro here tonight. Set to go one on one with the rope wizard himself, Grand Metalik. The winner again will go to face Baron Corbin of ECW at Bash at the Beach. The second brand versus brand pay per view. We kicked off the Triple Threat Wars strong. Recently, at SummerSlam, WCW prevailed. Will they prevail again at their own pay-per-view of Bash at the Beach? And of course, Jericho, a WCW original, Grand Metal Elite, uh, jump over. Jericho would love nothing more than to represent 
his former home brand. Hola, como estas? But a win for Grand Metal League will be not only Manu fucking Menno that he beat Chris Jericho, but he gets to go on to back at the Bash at the Beach to face Baron Corbin, representing WCW. This is definitely going to be an interesting matchup. seen Grand Metal League in a little while. So hopefully he doesn't have no ring rust or anything. Cruiserweight title has been brought back. Dolph Ziggler is your champion. So to say we good to see Grand Metal League back. But to immediately catch a running bulldog by Y2J. Oh Jericho already going for the walls of Jericho. Can he roll Metalik over? He's got him rolled over middle of the ring. He's got it locked in deep. Will Grand Metalik tap out? Jericho trying to go on to represent WCW at Bash at the Beach. No. Metalik flips it into a roll up. One. No. Jericho reverses. One. Two. Three. Jericho. Jericho just stole one from Grand Metalik. Wow. There you see Metal League powering out of the walls of Jericho, flips it into a sunset flip. Look, right here, flips him, sunset flip, legs over the shoulders, referee taking too long to get in the position. As soon as he counts one, Jericho will reverse it into a roll-up of his own. Metal League unable to kick out in time. That means Chris Jericho will represent WCW Nitro versus ECW's Baron Corbin at Bash at the Beach. Wow. I actually cannot believe that that happened like that. I was... I surely thought that Grand Metal League would kick out of that. But I guess he was just caught off guard. Bobby Roode set to go one on one with Curtis Axel for a rematch for the WCW United States Championship that Curtis Axel beat Bobby Roode for. Only this time, supposedly, Bobby Roode has a secret weapon in his corner. We know Curtis Axel's dad, Mr. Perfect, isn't going to be too far, especially being this the all in the NWO. The NWO has been notorious for being next to each other at all times. The following contest is a rematch for the WCW United States Championship. Ted DiBiase, the Million Dollar Man, the Million Dollar Champion himself, Ted DiBiase, is accompanying Bobby Roode to the ring for his WCW United States title rematch. This could be monumental for Bobby Roode. I did add a game to my stream. I added a few things to my stream. I 
I think you get more stuff when you watch it from a computer. And I added some more commands. There's some new stuff. Twiddle around with it, you'll figure it out. Accompanied by the one and only million dollar man Ted DiBiase. Yeah, it's super addictive. It's for the boring parts, like if you're playing PUBG or you know, wrestling if it's a loading screen, you play the stat game. I'm playing PUBG and I'm just looting, not doing anything. You play the stack game. I go to the bathroom, play the stack game. And it looks like Curtis Axel playing mind games. <laughs> you see Mr. Perfect making his way to the ring. Curtis Axel not even not even coming out for his own entrance. Jesus Christ, 70? I was just fucking around with it and got to like 17 or 20 or something like that. Like when I first checked it out. I only tried it once, but that one game I played when I got to like 17 or 20, I was like, this shit's cool as fuck. I can play this forever. Introducing the challenger. He is the former WCW United States Champion. The glorious one, Bobby Roode. And introducing the champion. He is the new reigning, defending, undisputed WCW United States Champion representing the NWO Wolfpack Curtis Axel Axel out the gate, taking it to the former champion Bobby Roode. Beautiful snap suplex into just a regular suplex. It's gonna be very interesting to see what Ted DiBiase has to offer for Bobby Roode in Bobby Roode's corner tonight. Bobby Roode dumped to the outside by the champ. But a reverse by Bobby Roode. 
<coughs> into a nice modified neck breaker. And just like that, the former champion in control. The referee is still administering his 10 count. And Curtis Axel. Fighting back twice now into the steps goes Bobby Roode. Referee to count of six. Roode tossed back into the ring by the champion. Looks like Curtis Axel wants to beat Bobby Roode in the ring. Now Axel in front of Ted DiBiase. Pounding Bobby Roode's head into the turnbuckles. And just like that, Ted, w Ted DiBiase able to distract Curtis Axel long enough for Bobby Roode to get back to his feet and gain his wits about himself. Blocked the shoulder tackle, did Curtis Axel. Then blocked the arm breaker. Or the back breaker. Blockbuster by Bobby Roode. This could be it for the champ. Looking for the glorious. Nope. Looking for a suplex. Blocked by Axel. Curtis Axel wants to prove that that win over Bobby Roode for the title is not a fluke. There's one match. This actually did come out on time. Oh, wait, spine buster by Bobby Roode. And that could be it for the champion. And just like that, Mr. Perfect yelling over at Bobby Roode, and it distracts him. It allowed Curtis Axel to go for a backdrop, but Roode countered, landed on his feet, and is now looking for the glorious DDT. We could have a new United States champion after this. DDT connects. Rolls Axel over. One. No. Perfect. Breaking up the pin. Well, Mr. Perfect just threw a chair into the ring. I don't know if Axel sees it. The referee hasn't seen it yet. Oh, Axel missing the discus forearm. Bobby Roode wobbled just out of the way. Oh, wait. No. Could he be looking for this on the chair? No, he missed the chair. There's Axel wisely missing the chair. Referee right there. He could be waiting for his cue. There you go, referee sees the chair, slides the chair out of the room. Curtis Axel's getting fired up. We're gonna defend his United States Championship. There's the snap, Mayor. There's the next snap. Move his dad, Mr. Perfect, made famous. He right to the kick of Bobby Roode. The champ is looking good right now, but he needs to hit the perfect flex. Oh, here we go. Measuring Bobby Roode. Axel hits this. It's over. No. He goes for the, the, the neck breaker instead. This is how he won the title. One. Two. Three, Curtis Axel retains. Wow. I thought Bobby Roode would kick out of it. He kicked out of the one, 
in the title defense that Bobby Roode had the title. There you see the glorious DDT. Here's the next snap after the snap there. Is that modified face break, face buster neck breaker? More like a, a crevasse neck breaker type situation you got going on. Curtis Axel, your hashtag and still. WCW United States Champion. It looks like Bobby Roode's going to the back of the line. And in case you were wondering where the big show was, there he is. He had himself a intercontinental title match here tonight against none other than Drew McIntyre. Why Drew McIntyre? Eh, why not? The following contest is scheduled for one fall, and it is for the WCW Intercontinental Championship. McIntyre's looked very impressive since his Nitro debut. So, based off of his performances, I mean, as if there's not really any viable contenders for the Intercontinental title right now, Big Show has yet to defend the title. So, let's give him a uh, Good shot, you know, at winning his defense, but at the same time, let's have a good match. Great possibility that Drew McIntyre pulls an upset and steals one over the big show and goes on the bash at the beach. This match will go on to face the ECW World Television Champion, whether that be the Jester or somebody else by Bash at the Beach. Now remember, ECW's television champion, the Jester, is undefeated still. So it's going to be a tall task for any man over there just to dethrone him as a champion. There you see him, the WCW Intercontinental Champion. Representing the NWO black and white. Up, crash bandicooted. Ooh, look at that pretty belt. Introducing the challenger. 
Drew McIntyre. And introducing the champion. He is the reigning, defending, undisputed WCW Intercontinental Champion representing the NWO Black and White, The Big Show. Drew McIntyre, Big Show 1v1, Intercontinental title on the line. Oh. Big Show out the gate with a huge clubbing blow to the midsection of McIntyre. Looking for a power bomb. No, an alley oop slam. <coughs> the strength of the Big Show just picking McIntyre up. Launching him over his own head. McIntyre is no small dude. That's a beautiful headbutt from the Intercontinental Champion. McIntyre trying to fight back. There's the Luthez press by McIntyre. Got the champ rock momentarily. Still too soon to tell anything. Basically a feel out process at the time. Oh my God, McIntyre looking for a power bomb on the champion. Big Show counters out with several right hands. McIntyre measuring Big Show from the second rope. Big Show just too far away for the axe handle. Ring awareness from the champion. Yield to McIntyre. The challenger is now in trouble off the mistake miss. High risk off the middle rope pinned by the champ. One. Only a one count. Definitely still too soon. And remember the winner of this match. Of course, will go on to represent the champions portion of Bash at the Beach. And Bash at the Beach is a second brand versus brand pay view. Much like the previous summer slam. Only this time it will be strictly brand versus brand matches where all the champions of WCW will go one on one with all the champions of ECW. Well, except for the tag team champions, they will go two, two on two. And, uh,. And there will be several of this one-on-one -on -one matches. One of which is Baron Corbin versus the man of, man of the list himself, Y2J, Chris Jericho, beating Baron Metalita earlier tonight. Entire face first off the apron on the outside. I'm not entirely sure either man would want to win this match, knowing that they can fight the undefeated Jesper, the ECW television champion. Three to count of seven. McIntyre definitely wants to win the Intercontinental title, throwing the big show back into the ring. The strength of McIntyre picking the big show up for a gut wrench. That had to take him a lot of stamina. And you see he's definitely went immediately into a rest hole. 
Alright, we gain some of the stamina. 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 Oh, you might want to watch out for that. Never mind. Spear. Spear by the champion. And Drew McIntyre's. Oh, what a right hand. I'm not entirely sure if that was a knockout right hand or if he just clocked McIntyre with just a crispy right. Oh, here we go. This is going to be the knockout right hand. Boop. Good night. And still Intercontinental Champion. One, two. No, McIntyre kicked out. Drew McIntyre just kicked out of Big Show's knockout punch. And now Big Show is going to the top rope. What the fuck? And he missed. Big Show not able to jump far enough. McIntyre able to come back. Pinned by the challenger. Only a one count. Somehow Drew McIntyre able to kick out of Big Show's knockout punch. It is now in control of the champion. And of course, the moment I say something, the other guy reverses. Pinned by Big Show. Off the fireman carry. There's two. McIntyre again kicking out. What is the champ going to have to do to put McIntyre away? Big Show running power slam into the corner running power slam into the middle of the ring pinned by the champion this has got to be it one two no McIntyre still alive how what is this man made of oh there's the leg drop by the Big Show the final cut. He's not through. Fall away slam. And now Big Show looking to put the final piece de la resistance. The second knockout punch. McIntyre is done. Good night. Count to a hundred. One, two. Three. It will be the big show who is the hashtag guy and still your WCW Intercontinental Champion going one on one with the undefeated if he's still the champion by Bash of the Beach. Jester, the ECW World Television Champion. Tired to the Big Show. And Big Show accepted. That's, uh, McIntyre surviving the first knockout punch. So, I mean. Oh. Is this. I'm receiving word that Big Cass has returned and is. Is met DDP up in the back and is challenging him for DDP's WCW Hardcore Championship. We're trying to get some uh, cameras back there. We'll let you know. Give us a minute. We got the graphic up on the screen. Uh, I'm not entirely sure if Big Cass is actually back. We haven't seen him since losing the Hardcore title. With all the NWO members wrestling tonight down there. Yeah, there he is. Big Cass. And DDP getting into an argument. Right hand by DDP. And another. And we have a hardcore title match. 
Big cast launched right into the equipment box. And then DDP launched into the other side. And then a peel by Big Cass. Big Cass, the inaugural WCW Hardcore Champion. A few months ago, losing the belt immediately in his first title defense. We haven't really seen him since. Oh, again into the equipment box goes Big Cass. And now Diamond Dallas Page taking it to Big Cass. And Big Cass is not the first person to try this. The Anvil Neidhart of the Heart Foundation jump DDP who just got thrown into the locker room door. Steel chair by Big Cass and a shot right to the spine of the hardcore champion. As I was saying, Jim the Admiral Neidhart tried jumping DDP in the backstage area one night. He caught a beautiful diamond cutter for his troubles. It was left laying for DDP to keep his title. Big Cass not playing around. Having Kerry take over by the champ. Let's lead to the midsection. Pass into the wall. Oh, again, over the equipment box into the other wall. <coughs> oh, spinning sit out power bomb by DDP. We still haven't got a referee back there. Oh, looking for the diamond cutter countered by Big Cass. DDP launched back into the locker room. Cass again tossed back into the wall. And DDP's been having his way with Big Cass, tossing him into wall after wall. And he's now got that table. What a shot right to the chest of Big Cast. With a nice knee. Great back elbow by Cast. Pretty nice right hand. <clears throat> Diamond Dallas Page face first into that concrete wall. Getting a little taste of his own medicine. Then tossing Cass right into that equipment box. Nice chop. And another spinning sit-up powerbomb. That's it. They're calling it. They're finally taking DDP away. DDP cannot be taken out in the back. Tonight's main event. The winner of this match will face Goldberg next week. And the winner of that match will face the WCW World Heavyweight Champion Booker T. And then the winner of that match will go on to Bash at the Beach to go one on one with whoever the ECW World Heavyweight Champion is. Dangle hosting with one viewer, dog. What's up, dog? I see you. Welcome to the main event. Sami Zayn versus Latino Heat, Eddie Guerrero.
both Sami Zayn and Eddie Guerrero have wins over the World Heavyweight Champions. Sami Zayn's came over the former World Heavyweight Champion, Sting, before he lost the belt to Booker T. Eddie Guerrero, former World Heavyweight Champion, to Booker T, won the belt back in his rematch. Because I'm black. Ooh, Eddie Guerrero running immediately across the ring with a nice hurt Karana to Sami Zayn. Eddie Guerrero coming off a huge loss to Booker T losing his uh, WCW World Heavyweight Championship. He won at SummerSlam. He won in very decisive fashion. But Booker T would immediately implement his rematch clause the very next night. And then the two would put on a classic match. Only for Eddie Guerrero to come up short. Sami Zayn, in control of Eddie Guerrero, the former World Heavyweight Champion. I'm sure neither man is looking forward to facing Goldberg. But, I mean, it's Goldberg. If you could beat Goldberg, you get like the biggest name. In wrestling. We're three to count of seven now. Let's toss back into the ring. It's a nice elbow right to the bridge of the nose. Oh, a nice suplex. Eddie Guerrero holding on, looking for the three amigos. There's two. The crowd counting along. There's three. Sami Zayn left in the middle of the ring. Hooks the leg. One. Two. No. Zayn kicks out. Oh, looking for an outsider's edge. No. Oh. Sit out power bomb by Eddie Guerrero. And there's the frog splash straight into the pin. One, two, three. Eddie Guerrero with a huge win over Sami Zayn. Eddie Guerrero just came to play today. He brought the heat. ACF there are three amigos. Almost gets him there. Only a two count. But then turning midair. Lands the frog splash. Straight into the hook of the leg. One. 
two, three. Eddie Guerrero set to go one on one next week. Live on this channel, same time, 10 p.m. Central. Follow me on Twitter to know when I go live. As always, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and follow the watch group. Thank you for joining us for Monday Night Nitro. And as always, we're not done. Completely. Not yet. You always get a little bonus at the end of the Nitro episodes. And to recap, Chris Jericho going on to face Baron Corbin of ECW in the brand vs. brand match, qualifying for Bash at the Beach. Curtis Axel retaining his WCW United States Championship over Bobby Roode despite Ted DiBiase accompanying Roode to the ring. Drew McIntyre, despite kicking out of the first KO punch, did not kick out of the second one. But Big Show shook his hand after the match. And uh, I don't know what that means. Is McIntyre part of the NWO? Or was he just showing him respect? We'll have to see. DDP getting jumped from Big Cass, the inaugural WCW Hardcore Champion, who we haven't seen since losing the belt several weeks ago. Try to jump DDP like Jim Neidhart did last week, I believe. And uh, again, failing short like Neidhart and DDP reigning supreme. And then in tonight's main event, Eddie Guerrero, Sami Zayn for the right to face Goldberg. For the right to face Booker T for the World Heavyweight title. For the right to face the ECW World Heavyweight Champion at Bash at the Beach. There's a lot of rights to face somebody. Started with Sami Zayn and Eddie Guerrero. Eddie Guerrero reigns supreme. And as always, it's time to look at the power rankings. Oh, little ready ski with hungry snake ski. I see ya. Good man. Hey, great! Man, that means I gotta immediately start some PUBG, because y'all just caught the very literal end of this episode. But it take me no time to set it up. We're doing good, my brother. We're doing good. Always doing good. Just had a great episode of uh, WCW Nitro. You see Chris Jericho going on to face... Baron Corbin at Bash at the Beach, ECW vs. WCW. Curtis Axel retained his title against the former champion Bobby Roode. Despite Bobby Roode having the million dollar man Ted DiBiase in his corner. Big Show retains his WCW Intercontinental title against Drew McIntyre. And they shook hands after the match. I was confused by that, so we'll see what's up with that next week. DDP retained it as a uh, hardcore championship, and then Eddie Guerrero won the right to go face Goldberg next week, and then the winner of that match will face Booker T the next week for the World Heavyweight title. Tomorrow night, it's going to be ECW, 10 p.m. Central, live on this channel. Yeah, see, there's Bash at the Beach. There you see, next week will be Goldberg versus Eddie Guerrero in the main event. And then this week, right here, will be Booker T versus the winner of this match. And then the winner of this match will go all the way on over here to Bash at the Beach on that actual Sunday at 10 p.m. Central, live on this channel. But as always, at the end of a Nitro episode, we show off the power rankings, which is the number one and two, the Authors of Pain, taking the top motherfucking spot, boy. God. 
Ron Strowman trying to climb up there. Okay, went from six to third. There you see the World Heavyweight Champion off the win, off the retain, the regaining of his title, getting fourth place from 16th. So it looks like the Bullet Club getting dropped out of the uh, top five. Carl Anderson moving from seven to nine. Mm. Sheamus, the Universal Champion, dropping. Somehow, Bret Hart is still in the top 10. I have yet to... How is Bret Hart still in the top 10? Samoa Joe cracking the top 10. You see... Usos dropping. Cactus Jack somehow going up. Yeah, look at that. Bullet Club just dropping. Despite being the Raw Tag Team Champions. The Usos drop. NWO taking over. And it looks like Raw... Is only Bullet Club, Brock Lesnar, and Sheamus, and one member of the Wyatt family. Braun Strowman. Damn, Raw is slacking. ECW, though, they're starting to take over the top 20. WCW is getting kicked out. Well, give me about three minutes. To set up some Papa G. I'll be right back. As always, like, comment, subscribe, follow to watch it live. Goodbye. For a few seconds.